a people injured here 2v2 desert showdown blue team bunch of elder first up is dark heretic as a farseer support commander that fights in melee combat with some awesome buffs and some debuffs and control abilities too good mobility as well with fleet alongside swift is a warlock melee commander that leaps into combat awesome disruption and mobility but can also support tank and be pretty killy too pretty versatile commander red team imperium we have chia 18 as an inquisitor offensive commander lots of great control abilities can also support a little begins in melee combat but can get some awesome ranged weapons and rounding off the teams it is kicking baby as an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by default begins with a target heal and a passive health regeneration aura this is the legion of the dam delete scheme kick in swing in mid maybe to control this wreck point and then push on to this power bit of an odd map you have the natural victory points right outside the HQs as you can see and these two natural wreck points on the south and north edges just goes to show that maps can have oddities and still be good and enjoyable big garrison in the middle of the map is also a bit weird the contested VP is off center here triple dire Avengers for Dark Heretic looks like he's already used the guide maybe because he's not using it now those guards are still being melted the Inquisitor not getting involved for some reason you just yeah there's the helm of the witch is a bit late but it is used and here comes swift to double up on this west side kicking baby has recognized and comes to support but down goes the inquisitor is he going to send his tactical marines into melee combat knowing that he has that apothecary heal is behind light cover here that barbed wire is light cover the tank traps behind it or beside it rather are heavy cover but he should be behind the heavy cover surely he's going to get shot down here apothecary forced off as you saw 455 496 he might be able to revive the inquisitor quickly attack marines forced off and howling banshees in retreat path do they drop a model here no they do not it looks like 447 496 good opening engagement for the blue eldar team dark heretic with triple Dar Avengers into Guardian Weapon Team. Chia, you would expect, is going to get some spotters up. Maybe spotters and catagens. Shuriken is going to have a hard time stomping around and stomping stuff otherwise, I think. This wreck point is uncapped. Was it decapped by something? Or did they just not cap it? Not even sure. Shuriken now covering this VP and this approach. Nicely done. These Dire Avengers heading towards this power, maybe just to see what's going on. Here comes kicking all the way over to the west side again to get try and get that revive. I think Sentinel needs repairs. There we go. Needs to back the hell away as well. It's gonna go down. Loses the Sentinel. Little bit sloppy there from Chia. Couple of sloppy plays from them. Lost the Inquisitor. Was very very late with the Hammer of the Witches as well, and then loses the Sentinel. Oh. Apothecary revives the Inquisitor with his heal, which is an instant revive from range, but you do not get the XP for it. 443, 469. Spotters are on the field for Chia. Call in off map mortar shells for disruption and damage. You can also call in an incendiary shell and a smoke shell. Very, very useful. There's one. That's the smoke shell, I think. There it is. Doesn't share a cooldown with the regular mortar shell. Rangers on the field for Swift using their kinetic shot to knock back a assault marine model and here come howling banshees would have been really nasty if they didn't get out of there but they did are we going to see purification rights for the apothecary to help those assault marines fight those banshees we'll also get shotguns on scouts and in fact kicking is doing so artillery spot is firing their las guns forcing off a dire vendor squad but here comes the farcia oh she has her spirit stones so she can support that range blob she has with the heal honey branches on the tactical marines there's an apothecary heal there's a shotgun blast too and he's happy to engage them here it was good play by kicking didn't panic and retreat which might have led to a wipe on his tactical marines rangers continue to get him shots in and he does have the pathfinder gear so he might want to get his sergeant and his scouts so he might see hollow fields on banshees allowing them to get into combat when perhaps they wouldn't have been able to warlock chasing down guardsman does not have a melee charge as you can see since he leaps on your face 
and knocks you over instead. 443-426. Artillery shell on the Rangers doing some good damage hitting all three models pretty well there. And they take a model out and they have to retreat back all the way to this northeast base of Swift. Pretty aggressive there, these Rangers. There's the smoke shell which reduces your weapon range by half. Pretty damn annoying. Does it also decrease your vision range? I'm not actually sure about that. Guide on the guarding weapon team. Resetting up here to cover this approach. Maybe Chia should send something to decap this VP and try and drag something over there. Because he's setting up shop over there, Dark Heretic, with shields and shuriken and all sorts of nastiness. Tier 2 for Chia. What's he going to go for? Infiltrated Ogrins? Maybe. Could be good with Interrogator's armor on them to sneak up on that Garden Weapon team. They could get counter initiated by a bunch of grenades to their face, though. Because we do have aspects on all of them. You might just get a Manticore up. 2 to cap and power being bashed by the Dire Avengers. Look at this. I've got to carry with the Sanguine Chainsword to allow him to go into combat with the Banshees a bit more readily. There's a jump, but he does retreat in time and so isn't knocked over and taking hits while retreating. Swift moving in. It's Chia out on the field. Yes, he is. Has the double guard and has Stormtroopers on the way. That's his first purchase. Look at this. The Merciless Switchblade. Such a fantastic weapon for the Warlock thing. 130 damage per hit and also draining energy. Also gives you the knockback on your ranged attack. Banshee's just about getting out of there again. Gives you all these awesome passive benefits. The Merciless Switchblade. Oh, loses Dire Avengers though. Managed that engagement quite well, did. Kicking baby. I mean, he had Banshees and the Merciless Switchblade on his Assault Marines. Didn't drop on model, kept calm, used his shotgun blast well, and had that flame of doing work. 4 to 8, 3 to 9. It's tier 2, and kicking goes last. Chia does have a Manticot on the way, already has Stormtroopers up. Where are they now? There they are. Begin with those Hell Guns, they can get an Assault Kit, which increases the range of those Hotshot Las Guns, and gives them a Fragmentation Grenade. And that allows them to infiltrate, I believe. Shuriken on the Guardsman, they get caught and both of them get suppressed but there's the artillery shell. Allows them to win the engagement and spotters can decap that contested VP. Meanwhile, east side, a very aggressive usage of his assault marines from kicking. Doesn't even need those purification vials to do work on the Banshees. Assault marines jumping into base, get a heal, trying to get models off these ranges but there's a Falcon popping up and they retreat out some really good assault marine usage by the apothecary oh the tactical marine is almost dropping two models there very very close wow had like 88 health on two models there scouts infiltrate to try and decap there maybe he should get those purification vials up to really deter those banshees from running in meanwhile stormtroopers with the assault you see the range they have guardsmen Forcing melee combat on the shuriken so it can't set up and start firing. What are these guys up to? Hanging out by the generators with flamers in hand to burn them down. Wow, Eldar really pushed back in tier 2 so far. We have Wraith Guard for Dark Heretic. Kind of an auto purchase currently against Imperial Guard, I think. Against a lot of things really in team games and 2v2s. 385, 350. Wraith Guard are set to get. A load of adjustments in the next update. We'll see if those changes go through. Assault squad, or as I should say, assault kit stormtroopers. I think they wanted to throw their grenade, but had to retreat before they could do so. 378, 350, here come the Wraith Guard. Kind of a short range artillery option. Awesome damage versus all targets. But they are quite slow moving and very vulnerable to melee. Fight, uh, Falcon, I should say, gets away. We have a missile launcher on the tactical marine squad, switching out from the flamer and a melter bomb on the assault marines, jumping into the banshees there, being aggressive. Look at the apothecary tanking the banshees there with his sanguine chainsword. Awesome. 
Now, so there's the merciless switch trade with that amazing power melee special attack that it has. That is so painful to those tactical marines. It does get forced off though. 378, 317. It's a double cap for the Eldar blue team. Farseer should be capping there to try and get a triple. Here comes Kikin though. Oh, Psychic Storm. The Salt Marines can't jump. They don't have the energy to jump that Dire Avenger block. Lucky maybe they didn't eat the grenade there, but the Farseer does now turn around and cap. The Rune Armor giving her the Psychic Storm, which is freaking awesome, as you saw there. Great God bashing gens, losing their Warlock squad leader, which breaks their Wraith Sight and stuns them briefly. The, both the Farseer hero and the Warlock hero will also grant the race type to nearby Wraith Guard, but doesn't matter if they lose their hero, uh, squad leader, they'll still get stunned. 378259. Farseer behind. I think these are light cover, these big pots. Banshees wailing doom on the Assault Marines, but again, quite easily dealt with. Now the Assault Marines have a Sergeant as well, who gives them a Power Sword model. There he is at the front. And gives them the quite fantastic Merciless Strike. And they're level 2, so they can jump in a Merciless Strike pretty, pretty quickly. 378231. What's burning? Is it the oh, Holy Pyre? The remains of a Holy Pyre from the Holy Brazier. Excruciators and Inquisitorial Mandate. 374229. Web Brigade over here on the western edge from Swift. So that's a one of those healing Web Brigade Gates. Has one in his base, so he can get over there very quickly now. There's a Razorback. Falcon trying to get shots on it. The Falcon does do some anti vehicle damage. He's going to eat a Melter Bomb here, though, and might go down because that's. A missile launcher tactical marines, but he's got it in a really bad spot. Can't move out of there. And there's a the rear arm hit from the missile launcher. Down it goes. Swift is going to lose the warlock as well, I think. Yes, really, really bad engagement for Swift. Lost his ranges also. Wow. Looks like Chia also having some parting issues with his manticore, which goes down. So two vehicles going down there in quick succession. Manticore costing 90 power, of course. I think the Falcon's like 65 or, or 85 maybe, I'm not even sure. But none of those were cheap losses, that's for sure. We have, for some reason, Plasma Gun Garden, maybe to try and shoot the Wraith Guard, but it generally ends in pain if you try and outshoot Wraith Guard. Chia goes tier 3. Warp Spiders on the way for Swift. Can he, re he recover? This is going to be vital now. Need to revive, that's for sure. But can he recover from the losses? Gonna get his power locked down a little bit. Gonna lose the node here. One more missile shot. There we go, bang. Warp Spiders. Gonna do some piercing damage to those tactical marines who are level 3. Done really well. Kicking in general, doing really well this game. Dealing with Swift quite nicely after the initial engagements. Banshees in amongst some guardsmen who run away. Banshees do have the Executioner Spear, so if they can get on the rear armor of the Razorback, they can do some damage. Don't want to cap though with Flame of that. 332229. Grenade beautifully done in retreat buff. Wow! Took out three models. Beautiful grenade from Kickin. That is really well done. The Sultan is now moving in to tie up the Wraith God, their biggest weakness is that they can't really fight in melee combat. They're really tough though, so they can take damage while you try and get counter initiation in place. But in that case, the grenades missed. 3-3-2, three, 2-2-9. Three, two. Two, two, Red team looking pretty good here. Tier three for Dark Heretic. I'm sure Chia18 would love to get a Lehman Russ on the field. Spotters using their smoke shell to shut down the Guardi Weber team. You see how much it reduces the firing arc, and there's another shell, that's the artillery shell. Need to be careful though, there's the Warlock knocking all three models down. Might could take out two of them here. Smack. Nine hit points on the last model, but he can't get it. Farseer levels to four, now has the gravity blade to try and counter-initiate those assault marines who have done so well so far. Carry level 3 now has his 
level 3 heal. His basic heal gets better every two levels. One of the very few abilities in the game that scales with level. 332, 226, 2 cap. For the Eldar team, they still have VP superiority despite Swift losing so much stuff. Maybe Kicking Baby needs to look after his VP a little bit more here. Uh oh, Walk Spider's caught in retreat by the Salt Marines. Are they going to jump again and try and finish them off? They do not jump again. Hmm. That's a mistake, I think. I would have gone for the second jump and tried to finish them. Kicking Baby floating a lot in Tier 2. What is he going to do here? Get a Dreadnought or go Tier 3? I would go Tier 3. He's got a lot of red. Can get Terminators up pretty quickly there. Then she's trying in vain to chase down the Razorback really hard to get a Razorback in melee combat if the other player is paying attention. Down go generators though. Artillery, that's his smoke shell from the spotters all the way over there as you can see. Warlock on capping duty. Swift knowing that he's a little bit thin sticking by the Dark Heretic. Sticking by a Dark Heretic I should say to support. And a D cannon on the field for Dark Heretic. Look at the range it has. That's Excruciators on some Dire Avengers. That's pretty nasty. And that's a Singularity. He's going to drag those Guardsmen in. And ouch. Lots of bits of them. I only took three models though. So actually dragged two of the squad leaders in who will die last. The Inquisitor still level one. With Holy Braze Excruciators and the Mandate. Can she cap with the Mandate? No, she can't. Wraith Guard. Oh, level 2. Wow. Power Bash again. Scouts getting very close to base. Are they going for a grenade? What are they doing? I think it was just a misplay from Kicken. Didn't have the energy to throw a grenade. So it certainly wasn't that. Banshee's making the Tactical Marines think twice about bashing gens. Now they can get out and finish it though, I think. 3 3 2 1 6 3. Ogrins on the field for Chi Up was not expecting that purchase at this stage in the game. Maybe he wants to run them into the Wraith Guard. But I mean, even a Lehman Rust, you're, you're going to get outshot by Wraith Guard, I would think. Unless maybe you get the Executioner and, and just try and keep moving. Salt Marines jumping in to tie up the Wraith Guard. Wow, they eat two grenades though. And he might lose the entire squad here. That's going to be a big loss. There's a heal. Just in time, the apothecary gets in to heal them at level 4. And I think that did save them. I think it did. Would have been very close without that heal. Very close indeed. Is that Dark Creepers I saw from Dark Heretic? Nope, I'm just seeing things. Single cap for blue team. Red team are getting a natural and a contested though. I think they need to put some pressure on... Blue team's natural and hasn't been a huge amount there. Chi are struggling against the Wraith Guard, I think, as many Imperial Guard players do at the moment. The D cannon's going to set up. And if the Ogrins just take one volley from the Wraith Guard, they're going to be suppressed and in a lot of trouble. They're trying to get into the retreat path of the D cannon. There we go. Went a bit too far. Now they can try and get in amongst that Wraith Guard. Terminators on the field pulled in by kicking baby from his global bar. Wraith Guard getting a volley off, but not suppressing the Ogrins. Ogrins able to get away. Terminators will stand firm at the contested VP. Banshees might wipe here. Tactical is in melee combat. They should have forced melee. Might have been able to finish off. Might be able to do so in a way. Down to six models, they really should have forced melee combat. Marines are so good at that. When a melee squad gets in amongst them, and you can whittle them down, if you force melee combat towards the end of the combat, they will get those last few hits in as the other squad runs away to perhaps take them down, which I think they would have done there. Terminators with the Cyclo Missile Launcher in anticipation of fire prisms perhaps but dark heretic is going for seer council no cancels them cancels the seer council they would have done a fantastic job on the terminators and the assault marines even though these guys are level three with apothecary support ogrins on the field would have done a good job versus those as well as i assume he's going for the fire prison then i think he should have gone for the seer council maybe he's worried 
by Wraith Guard Friendly Fire. He does have those Spirit Stones which would really help out the Seer Council. What is Swift going to get? He's got enough for a nuke. That could be telling. Ogren's going in. That's the Levitation Field. Throwing the Ogrens aside. They might struggle to get into combat if the Farseer is diligent with that Levitation Field. Meanwhile, east side. Walk Spiders throw a Haywire Grenade on the Razorback, but are not able to decap. Seer Council is on the way for Dark Heretic. He must have cancelled it. Did he cancel it to purchase an upgrade somewhere that I can't see? No, Wraith Gods don't have the Wraith Bone thing, or whatever it's called. Banshee's chasing down the Razorback, but well, they, they have kind of struggled, I think, to make a huge impact. They've certainly drawn a lot of fire, and they are level 2. Maybe the channeling runes would have been good for the Warlock. But as it stands, he's gone for the Heart of Darkness and Champion's Road. Draining energy from that Apothecary with the Merciless Witchblade. Eldritch Storm, beautifully placed, takes down the Razorback. Almost, in fact, it does wipe out the Tactical Marines. Wow, fantastic nuke. Really fantastic nuke from Swift. Got those Tactical Marines, and those guys must have been very close level 4 if they weren't already. That's a big deal, really big deal there. Nuke changing the game perhaps on that east side. There's an orbital from Kickin. Picks up the D cannon, but I don't think he's gonna get anything else. No. Oh, gets a single Wraith Guard model, but it's not gonna do a whole lot to it. Can he wipe the D cannon? Yes he can, is the answer. Just blown out of the sky there. Terminators lost a bunch of health, but they are now pushing forward again. I sort of need to need to tie up that Wraith Guard. There's the jump to disrupt the Dire Avengers and try and get a Wraith Guard model on retreat maybe. Oh, takes out the Warlock, which is good because it will need to be repurchased now. Well, good for the Red Team in a way. Cyclone Barrage in retreat path. How is Kicken going to respond? Is he going to get a land raid up? He could get one. There's Excruciators on the Howling Banshees. Terminators inspiring nearby allies on every kill they make and it's Seer Council trying to get in there and get a model but they are forced to retreat by the inspired assault marines there you saw them with the yellow buff circle from a kill that the Terminators made 191 103 is very close nice grenade again oh by kicking but he doesn't get a kill pretty unlucky east side being taken by warp spiders and they're gonna get it it's gonna be a double for the blue team Red team are gonna deep not here, maybe not. There's a Shuriki cannon there. Ogrins? Where the hell are the Ogrins? I was strangely split up. Oh, they found the webway, have they? Scouts, level 4 scouts just about able to get away. And it is a land raid redeemer on the way for Kicken. Is he gonna get on the field quickly enough to make a difference here? Patrickin forced to retreat. Assault Marines landing in. The Eldar lines and they're doing a really good job over on this side. If they weren't over here, he'd be doing like a hell of a lot better with that Wraith Guard and stuff. Lehman Russ now on the field for Chia. Walk Spiders don't have their Warlock leader for Swift. Oh, this is the second squad. First squad do. Or Exarch leader, I should say. Got the carry level 5 decapping and trying to take back his natural and here's the land red redeemer now where does he put this thing does he put it on the contested vp or does he keep it on the east side i hear an elder storm there it is knocks the ogrens off the cap if nothing else and has now stunned the lemon rust this could be really bad for it where's that fast here she needs to buff that wraith guard with guy there it is can she finish off the lemon rust now Hell Fury dropped on them from the Inquisitor, but this Lehman Rust is done for, I think. Yes, just about. Couldn't get away in time. Had turned to flee, but eight. Yeah, that snare did last a long time on that Lehman Rust. Or root, or whatever you want to call it. It's done, maybe. Warlock with his Champion's Rogue Shield up, trying to cap, but knocked away by Shotgun and won't be able to. Can he push? against a land red redeemer i don't think he can i mean he can 
He can throw double haywire grenades on it, which will disable his weapons, allow Banshees to get in, but they're not going to have enough time before it starts firing that scary close range stuff again. 16148. Pergatus from the Inquisitor. Can she use her mandate to catfish? She's not using it for whatever reason, it goes down. How much energy does it cost to use? Maybe it was on cooldown. But down goes the Inquisitor. 15248. Red team with the 2 to 1. Can they hold on? Gonna be tough for Swift to push the lat. The la oh, Land Red is coming mid. I think he should have left it over there. I think there's enough stuff for me to hold. We'll see. He wants to support his Terminators, obviously, here. Artillery spot is continuing to do work late game. And here come Ogren to charge. Almost level 2, these guys, with super heavy infantry armor. So they have really good resistance to piercing weapons. Webway gate over here. Dar Avengers fleeting in to try and decap scouts. Are oh, they ready to. Shotgun blast and chuck grenades on things. There's a grenade. And a shotgun blast as well. Doesn't manage to do a whole lot with it though. In terms of damage. And Dire Avengers will continue to cap. Where is the embolden? Not using it for whatever reason. 1, 2, 2, 43. There's a grenade of their own. And now they force off the scouts. Meanwhile, towards the west side. Howling Banshee's doing work late game. Up to level 3. I mean, they've lived, if nothing else. They've soaked up so much damage. Wraith Guard will help greatly versus that Land Raider. Maybe the Terminators should be teleporting on them and tying them up. Terminators have a real fight on their hands. See a council chasing them down. Look at all of that power melee damage. Wow. They're trying to get inside the Land Raider in time. Do they get in? I think they did. That was so close. I think one more hit would have taken them down 1 2 2 36 what's going on east the salt marine trying to take back the natural for red team double castrican for chia no weapon upgrades though oh levitation field on the ogrins gonna fling them aside doing i think power melee damage and now they can get up and run away what is this it's a drop pod with tactical marines for kicking getting a sergeant immediately we might see some stern guard veterans here 119 28 gives that extra quick capping power triple grenades thrown on the guardsmen did barely anything to them did it even hit them can they take this west side the land raider needs badly needs repairs there we go how far away are they from another eldritch swift needs a hundred red dark heretic a bit more than that a Manticore on the way for Chia needs to be careful with that Wraith Guard around. Wraith Guard can't be suppressed, so they're really a great unit for chasing Manticores into base. Down goes that Shuriken. West side now. 95 28, so close. Blue team gonna take the natural back. Are they? Swift has recovered well. You've got to save from all those losses. The nuke really helped him out though. Lost one of his warp spiders though, didn't he? Maybe he should get some seer counsel himself. I'm sure he'd love an avatar around about now. Needs a lot of rep though. 82 28. Walk spiders. Get the cap. Yes, they do. Need to teleport away. There we go. One to one. That was an important cap by Swift. Can the blue team get that natural? Farseer is there, ready to heal the seer council, I think, with her spirit stones. What is that actually called? Spiritual rites. There we go. Manticore strike though disperses the Eldar and forces them back to base. It's not a very long retreat though, isn't it? They're right there. That's the levitation field which misses everything. And she's going to be forced off. Maybe even go down. She does get away. Wow, Wraith God. That is so scary. They're level 4 now with Wraith Bone. Those volleys are decimating. Down goes this, the Inquisitor. Puts up the Holy Pyre, but it's not going to do much we do have stone guard veterans for picking and swift has a fire prism on the way the silk marines jumping away and getting a heal they are level four as you'd expect at this point 78 17 can blue team hold on to this two to one done really well to recover here but heretic really has kept the pressure on that west side often fighting two players it seems 
really has done well there. Storm is dropping models, but they do get the decap alongside the apothecary and now get a heal. Those guys forced off. Here comes the level 6 warlock, and he will be painful for those assault marines with his merciless witch plague. Is he gonna go after them at all? He can use the range attack to knock back the apothecary. No, doesn't get his leap either, but he gets a special immediately. 78 7. Meanwhile, West Side Land Raiders pushed up, taking shots from the Wraith Guard now. Oh, there's a time field and an Eldritch. The Eldritch from Dark Heretic. Swift also has one to use, I think. Is he going to use it to finish off the Land Raider? 68 7. There's the double cap, doesn't need it. The Wraith Guard finished it off. The cannon now getting shots. Wow, Land Raider went down, pushed it forward a bit too far there. I guess he. That might have been the first time time field was used from the army of Syrian, so he wasn't to know. I mean, I mean, what can you, what can you realistically do about that? Time field into an Eldritch on your land ready. You just got to hope that they don't have anything else to follow it up. And in that case, the Wraith God were there to do so. Stone God veterans pushing forward. Are they overcommitted to try and get this VP here? I suppose they don't have much choice. They're down to seven. And this natural is blue. The Saltman is jumping in. There's Angels of Death Pot. Global ability of the Apothecary, which prevents all knockback and gives you 50% damage resistance. Great, great tool for capping, as you might expect. Still taking a bunch of damage, though. There's a heal, and it's now worn off. I believe it's 15 seconds. Can the Warlock get a special attack? I don't think. Oh, he does get. Wow, got a special versus level 4 Assault Marines. Takes out a model. Fire Prism getting shots. Turns his attention to the Apothecary. No. Yes, he does. Double cap by Red. Single cap. 8 to 7. Kicking off on this west side. There's another Eldritch, but it misses everything. That was from Swift, I believe. Look how much Red Dark Heretic already has. Wow. A no cap game at 8 and 7. Who is going to cap here? It's Assault Marines trying to cap the east side, but there's another special attack from that Merciless Witch, but he's going to wipe the scouts, I think, yes. He might even wipe the Assault Marines, I think, in fact, he doesn't need to. Blue team get a quick double. So, so close. Wow. Banshee's got level 4. Ogryn's almost level 3. Awesome, awesome 2v2. So, so close. Kicking was really strained having to split his army between two sides. Did the Wraith Guard get level 4? Yes, they did. Of course they did. Farseer was level 10. Warlock level 8. Inquisitor just level 3. Holy Brazier per guard in mandate and a level 6. Apothecary, they have it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.